Wagwan people, welcome to the top 10 Jamaican historic moments. So for those who don't know, Jamaica is a small island located in the Caribbean. And on August 6, 1962, Jamaica celebrated its independence from the British rule. Since then, the small island nation of barely 3 million people has cemented its name in the Caribbean region and around the world with many significant historic events. Here are the top 10 Jamaican historic moments since the country's independence. Number 10. Martin Luther visits Jamaica. Civil rights leader, the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and his wife Coretta landed in Jamaica on Sunday, June 20, 1965. Dr. King's visit led to the grounds of the University of the West Indies, where the graduates and a huge audience filled in the assembly hall to hear him deliver the valedictory speech. His speech entitled, Facing the Challenge of a New Age, reminded the listeners of the necessity of resisting injustice with display of love. He spoke of the increasing need for worldwide brotherly love, especially in societies that were now free from colonial rule. Number 9. Haile Selassie Visits Jamaica An exciting and memorial event, not only in Jamaican history, but in the history of Rastafarians, was Thursday, April 21, 1966, when Ethiopian Emperor Haile Selassie visited Jamaica. His visit was highly anticipated by an estimated 100,000 Rastafarians who greeted him with the playing of drums and sounded a beng horns. The Gleaner reported that the Emperor rewarded members of the Rastafarian community with gold medallions bearing the Ethiopian seal, while some Jamaican politicians received miniature coffin shaped cigarette boxes. Number 8 Hurricane Gilbert Strikes On September 12, 1988, Hurricane Gilbert struck the island leaving devastation so widespread that it is still remembered as one of the most destructive storms to ever hit Jamaica. The Category 5 hurricane left damage estimated at 4 billion and 45 persons lost their lives. More than 800,000 persons had to seek shelter and the parishes St. Thomas, St. Catherine, Kingston and St. Andrew were under a state of emergency for one month. Number 7. National Bobsled Team The historic achievements of Jamaica's National Bobsled Team was immortalized in the 1993 movie Cool Runnings. The team made their debut appearance as the first tropical team competing in a cold weather sport at the 1988 Calgary Winter Olympics in Canada. Though they lost control of the sled and did not finish the race, the team of Devon Harris, Dudley Stokes, Freddie Powell, Michael White and Chris Stokes gained popularity quickly and was supported by many of the other nations. Number 6. Nelson Mandela's Visit After being imprisoned for 27 years, Jamaica was one of the few countries visited by the President of South Africa, Nelson Mandela, and his wife, Winnie Mandela, on July 24, 1991. A multitude of Jamaicans crowded the streets of Kingston to catch a glimpse of the renowned freedom fighter, the Mandela Park in Halfway Tree and the Mandela Highway in St. Catherine were named in his honor. Number 5. Lisa Hanna Claims Miss World's Crown Jamaica's Lisa Hanna captivated the world with her beauty and intelligence when she was crowned Miss World at the 43rd edition of the annual pageant on November 27, 1993 in Sun City, South Africa. Miss Anna's victory made her the third Jamaican to successfully gain the crown in the pageant after Carol Crawford, 1963, and Sidney Breakspear, 1976. Lisa Hanna was also the first title holder of Miss World to receive the Queen of the Caribbean Award. Number 4. Reggae Boys World Cup Qualification Jamaica's national football team known locally as Reggae Boys, 
made history as the first Jamaicans to qualify for the World Cup in France 1998. Led by Brazilian coach René Simoes, the reggae boys took the title of the first English-speaking Caribbean country to qualify for the World Cup soccer finals. They played three games, losing two and winning the final match against Japan. The team finished 22nd out of 32 teams. Number 3. Jamaica appoints female Prime Minister The most honourable, Portia Simpson Miller, became Jamaica's first female Prime Minister on March 31, 2006. She served as Jamaica's seventh Prime Minister until September 10, 2007 and received the order of the nation during that period. She was re-elected on December 29, 2011 and installed as Prime Minister on January 5, 2012. Prior to that, she served for 17 years as a Cabinet Minister with various portfolios and responsibilities including Labour and Social Security, Tourism, Local Government, Community Development and Sports. Number 2. Usain Bolt breaks three world records. Within just one week, Jamaican sprinter Usain Bolt moved from an inexperienced sprinter to being the first man to hold the world records for both 100 meter and the 200 meter. At the Beijing Games in 2008, the sprinter made a record-breaking run of 9.69 seconds in the 100 meter race. A few days after, Bolt made another spectacular run of 19.30 seconds in the 200 meter race before going on to break a third world record as the anchor leg runner in Jamaica's 4x1 relay team. Number 1. US President Barack Obama visits Jamaica. On April 9, 2015, the much anticipated wait for the visit of United States President Barack Obama was fulfilled. President Obama met with youth leaders at the University of the West Indies where he announced $70 million development programs for Caribbean and Latin American youth. The president also visited National Heroes Park where he paid tribute to Jamaicans who died in World War I and II and made a brief stop at the Bob Marley Museum, the former home of the famed reggae legend of whom President Obama is said to be a fan. So there you have it. Those are some of Jamaica's top 10 historic moments from then until now. If you guys want me to do a follow up, let me know. If you enjoyed the video, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment in the comment section and tell me what you think of this video peeps. And don't forget, I'm your boy Yardy from Yardy TV, I'm out.